What do I mean by I? What most people consider self is a conglomeration of memories. Memories of intentions, remembered sensations and locations, remembered dreams, imaginings, and unknowing. Somehow the idea of self comprised of those things is taken as complete. There is an attribute of existence that is universal, constant, and intuitively familiar. The sense of being here, wherever that is. There is no discernible break in it, but if there were, we would never know it, because a break in it would be a break in ourselves. No memory would form, and so there would be no way for us to refer to it, except perhaps with fancy words like paradox or mystery. So it seems continuous, ever-present, and present everywhere. For all intents and purposes, it is eternal, meaning the central pivot point common to all experiences, but neither central, nor anything around anything else pivots, nor a point, but present to and at every point. Now it is more present than our memories are. More constantly present, more reliably present, and in fact, inescapable. Get that, inescapable, inevitable for all time. Now, what does that have to do with self? Well, if I am self all the time, and as self, I am inconstant, variable, and something that is perfectly coincident with self is constant and invariable, which one would seem to be the real self? The inconstant self or the really constant self? Wouldn't the constant perpetual presence seem to be more self than the variable self is? I ask you. I think they're going to have to rewrite the entire English language to make the use of a certain pronoun, a certain pronoun which is neither a common noun nor a proper noun, but the number one pronoun, reflective of reality. What do you make of that?